Hey guys, this is Chad with homeschoolwebmaster.com. We did the uh, Drupal Gardens overview on the front page and stuff and and um, yesterday and as you can see we scroll down here we can change this content. Um, I was looking for my uh, cell phone for kids and I started doing research on it. I had looked it up and and just done some uh, ideal research. I hadn't done any research on any topics. That was kind of hard. That was a bad idea. So I'm going to do something I'm a little more familiar with, and that's Android, uh, Android apps. And uh, I'm just going to do small reviews over Android app, not over you know Android apps and stuff. Nothing serious or anything, but uh, just something fun. I enjoy doing that, so it'll probably be easier for me to do that than cell phones for kids. Um, don't know what I was thinking really, but uh, let's dive right into this thing. First thing that we need to look at in this list is dashboard now they've really advanced this uh, Drupal 6 is nothing like this uh, this is really awesome the first thing you'll notice is you have your recent content you could come down here and if you want to edit it you can edit it right there you can delete it you can control what's going on on your site right here this is a centralized place uh, you can go to your site manager search form and who's new is just me so uh, you could see if there's somebody new. So this is your overview of your site, kind of keeping track of it. But notice this button here, customize the dashboard. Click on that, pops down, and you can add additional items. Some of the things that interest me here, now yours would probably be ordered a little differently, but look for the word management. We can drop that down right inside here. And when you let it go, scroll all the way down. If it doesn't go in, try it again. There we go and uh, sometimes it goes in sometimes it doesn't but now you can add new content or you can go to the administration right here uh, another place you can add new content is right up here also but see you can add the all these different buttons if you want them now some of them aren't gonna really work for this page but they've just included everything uh, but you can add additional features to your um, dashboard once you get it set the way you want and you can move these over in different orders they're all movable once you get it done the way you want push done and now they have it set so your overview or your dashboard you can go in and work on your site this is just shortcuts to everything in your site the next thing here is content and this lists down all the content from your site now go back this right here lists down the content in your site but notice here it's recent contents and there's a limit here of what you can see you can go to more whatever but if you want to see everything it's probably better to go to content and you can sort this by different types here you have different types you can just see the basic pages and you see there's two basic pages or you can go back to any or you can just hit reset here and it takes us back to all our content or we can scroll down and we can sort it by author or by status or by updated last time it was updated uh, all this neat ways to find your content and edit it or delay delete it or just look at it and remind us what we did now over on this content there's a couple more tabs here there's comments and this is some sample comments here that they made on the for, uh, forum topics of general discussion the forum topic of suggestions and this is a sample blog post and then you have media and this is just pictures or videos or anything that you've uploaded they've got a list of it here and you can edit it let's actually go in and edit this I want to see what they do so this is a picture now this looks like it's part of the site but it's not it's a picture they've uploaded and you can go in and add a description you can add some tags that will help Google search this out and you can set your license you can do a Creative Commons uh, license or non-commercial share alike you can make it so people could, um, pull your work these are just license agreements here and do note here if you leave none that means all rights are reserved so you can go back to them and if you have a lot of money you can sue them I don't have a lot of money so I'm not going to be suing anybody uh, if you steal my pictures I'm gonna say oh well I can't afford to go to court but if you're rich like Sony they may take you to court uh, if you steal their pictures but that's what that's for now 
<clears throat> with that said, remember you can add content here or you can find content. Let's go to structure. Now we've covered the dashboard, we've covered the content. Let's look at the structure. Now this is where I'm going to stop today. I want you to look at this. There are different things that we're going to go through one by one. There is the blocks. Now blocks are the little squares over to the right or over to the left um, that come up and you can put information in there. We're going to go into greater depth on that. There's contact form. Um, that's so that people can go to your site, say, hey, I want to contact you and they can set up, you know, give you their email and then they can send you an email and contact you. Content types. This is fun. If you want to set it up an article, you can set up an article page. So you go to the article page, put in your articles. But what if you want a video? Well, I'll explain this in more detail. It's better to set up a video content type. Okay. Or if you have comments, you can set up a comment content type. So you really want to be specific. Keep the uh, different types of content separated. You don't want to put everything into articles and I'll explain more later. Uh, but let's just click into content types real quick. Just to give you an example, there's basic page, a blog entry, customer, fact, forum topics, gallery, news, poll, and testimonies. So those are the different content types and you can add more. Um, there's the dashboard, the forum, mailing list, media types, menus, simple views, and taxonomy. This is a lot of stuff to cover. I'm going to stop right here. Play around. Your homework assignment is to play around with the dashboard, play around with content, and look at the structure. That's it for today. Uh, tomorrow, when we dive into these blocks and stuff, go ahead and go ahead. Uh, go ahead and look at this stuff so you can be familiar with it and when we go in it'll make a lot more sense sometimes wrapping your head around Drupal it can be confusing like what's the difference between content types they're just a lot of weird terminology so go in and look at this stuff familiarize your stuff uh, yourself with this and then we'll take a in-depth look at the structure tomorrow